Hello, everybody, and welcome to this uh, Rangers Review Transfer uh, special. Uh, there's been a lot of these uh, in the last uh, week or so. Um, and this, uh, I'm delighted to say, we're joined by uh, Julian Parasol from uh, he's a, a French football expert, covers uh, League Two in detail, uh, and also uh, works on uh, the Dijon show. He's an expert in Dijon over there in France. Of course, that's where Rangers linked uh, Jonathan Panzo has spent a bit of his time uh, in his career. So it's, I was keen to get a flavour on what Rangers fans can expect if he is to pitch up at Ibrox. Julian, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Yes, thank you for, for the invitation. Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, it's great to have you on uh, to talk about uh, Jonathan Panzo. Um, he's a player, of course, a centre-back. Uh, he spent last season on loan at Coventry City. Um, prior to that, of course, he had joined Nottingham Forest from uh, you guys. Uh, you had bought him from, from Monaco, uh, yeah. Dijon. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what sort of player he is? Um, what can the Rangers fans expect? Uh, I don't know how the how big the rumors are about him, but I think uh, I think he's a he's an okay player. Uh, sadly, he joined Dijon at the worst time of uh, of uh, of our history. Uh, simple as he, he's played uh, centre back for us, and a few times he's played left back too. Uh, he played twenty six games for for Dijon in Ligue One. Uh, and then he left uh, as soon as we we were relegated uh, with a record uh, 12, 12 defeats in a row. Uh, so that, that wasn't the, the best season, yeah, as I said, uh, for him. But he only played twenty six games in this season uh, and did not really participate in this uh, this horrendous run. Uh, what can I say? Uh, he's a, I, I think he's talented on the ball, even though he didn't show, he didn't show it uh, in the player final with uh, with Coventry. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he's talented on the ball. Maybe he's, he lacks a bit of um, of um, consist consist yeah. cons consistency when he defends in uh, in his box. Uh, gives away a few a few too many pens for my liking. But mm -hmm. uh, honestly, honestly, I think he he can. He's got a, a great potential still. He's a former Chelsea and uh, and and Monaco yeah. uh, Monaco yeah player. Uh, I think that he he's got some, th there's something in him. Maybe not enough for uh, to to break into uh, into uh, Rangers first team already, but mm. I, I think there's 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 something here to him, and maybe maybe yeah, maybe he can uh, like uh, uh, um, resuscitate his career his career in uh, in Scotland. I hope so. Yeah. Interesting. Um, you said he can play uh, centre back and left back. I guess he's yeah. uh, predominantly left footed. Then Julian, is that the side he likes to play? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Is he a centre back that um, likes to uh, carry the ball, or is he a, an old fashioned centre back that would say uh, defence first, try and make tackles and, and make headers? No, no, he's, he's definitely a, a centre back that, uh, that loves to 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 yeah to carry the ball, to to travel with it a bit in the in the midfield. Um, I can't see it. See him maybe. Um, uh, turn into a, a defensive a defensive midfielder maybe uh, mm. later in his career. I, I can see it. Uh, it. It could be a great uh, a great option for for you if you. I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, honestly, the the worst part of, uh, about uh, about Panzo is maybe his defensive skills. Sometimes he, he, there's a, a little bit more uh, too much uh, excitement in his challenges. So yeah. It, yeah. It, it can be yeah, it can, it can be uh, costly. I think <laughs> for for a team that plays in Europe. Uh, especially, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I think he, he can do great in the midfield, and he's got a he's got the skills to to pass a few balls around. I don't know if it's as I said, I don't know if it's a Rangers kind of a caliber type of passing, but who knows? I I, I hope he can he can do well in Scotland. Yeah, and did he play in a was it a back four or, or a back three at, at Dijon? What was yeah. what was the defense like back then? He was a mostly a, a back four, very rarely a back three, and uh, yeah, left centre back in the back in the back uh, in the back four. Yeah, yeah, interesting. And um, he's he's a player as well. Was he a player that the Dijon fans uh, appreciated? Did, did they like him, or were they sad to see him go when when Nottingham Forest uh, bought him? Uh, yeah, uh, in fact, uh, when we were relegated, we uh, most of Dijon's fans. Uh, Counted on him to be uh, the like the 
the the the future of the club, the future mm. at the club. Uh, yeah. But but uh, he left already. I I think his uh, his wages were a little bit too high for League Two standards. Mm. So it's I mean we 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 did well to sell him, but uh, but yeah, uh, kind of disappointed that he didn't make it into Dijon's first team uh, as as much as I would have liked. Um, I think I think he has uh, the potential to do great things. Maybe not great things uh, as to uh, sign for a top uh, top English mm. side. Uh, I know he's had a, a few a few spells in the the English uh, under twenty one teams. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I, I think uh, I think he's um, he's got something he's got something to do with uh, with um, with his career and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he'll find a, a a suitable club that will help him progress and and improve uh, his his passing game, his defensive game especially. Uh, he's only yeah. he's only 22, I think. Uh, yes. So, so plenty of uh, of room to grow. I hope he can do so. Yeah, it will be interesting because uh, Michael Beale, the, the Rangers manager, was his coach at Chelsea. So when you said coach him, I, th- I think he may be the best guy to try and improve his game, possibly. Um, but but joining Rangers, Julian, I mean, Dijon, as you said, uh, in Ligue 1, they had a, a poor season and were relegated. Um, Rangers, the expectation is to win every single match and there's a lot <laughs> of demand from the supporters. Do you think Jonathan is the sort of character that would uh, revel and thrive in that environment? That's kind of hard to say, you know. Mm. Um, I think... I think uh... We didn't see the the full potential of uh, Jonathan Pantho in our first team. I think he wanted to do great things. I think he wanted to to carry the team uh, and and help it uh, not being relegated uh, this season. Uh, he was he was a, a player of character. I think he's not the, he's not the one to to let go so easily. But I mean, he was uh, he was uh, signed uh, in a in a transfer window where we only signed uh, uh, players with. Um, Kind of lose losers mentality. I, I don't. Mm, see, yeah. I don't know if it makes sense, but yeah, yeah a lot. A lot of them were like uh, mercenaries and didn't want yeah. to play too much for the club. I, I think. I don't know if he's in the same vein as they were, but he left all, uh, as soon as as we were relegated. So mm. I, I don't. I mean, I don't blame him, obviously, but uh, I don't know if he's got something to the the the, the, the mental qualities to to. Yeah. Um, yeah, to 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 play at a consistently and and uh, and uh, to to get back on foot uh, as soon as there's a, a defeat. I, I don't know if he's got it. He, he didn't show it at Dijon. Mm, interesting. Was he ever injured at Dijon, Julian? Can you remember? Was he quite fit and, and robust? Uh, he wasn't injured for a long time. He was mainly on the bench when he was mm. uh, when he was not available. Uh, he's been suspended once, I think, once or, or twice. But uh, not for a red card in my in my uh, just yellows, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't think he was. Um, yeah, uh, what can I say? No, he, he's not been injured a lot, but I think he's got a history of uh, of uh, being injury prone. But not at Dijon. Uh, yeah. That wasn't the problem at Dijon. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I I don't th- I think there were far worse problems uh, at Dijon at this uh, at this time. Yeah. Uh, back in the days, but yeah, yeah, uh, I hope he can get consistent football. I think that's what he needs. And and if he signs for Rangers, I see him getting a loan, maybe uh, in 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 the, in the championship again, or or I don't I don't know a, a good uh, a good foreign wow. side. I, I think he could be someone uh, that plays well in in Spain. That's that's kind wow. of a, a football that he would enjoy. I think. Yeah. Wow, interesting. And two and a half million pounds is a fee being quoted, uh, Julian, uh, to sign him from Nottingham Forest. Is do you think that's a bit too expensive, or is that a fair price? Do you think about three million I think, euros? I, I think that we 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 sold him for less than that. So I think uh, I think that's uh, that's not very accurate. Uh, mm-hmm. Dijon hasn't hasn't got a, a history of well, selling well its players, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah. Uh, so far, he hasn't shown uh, hasn't shown enough to to I mean um, to justify this transfer fee. Yeah. Uh, in my yeah. in my opinion, and and if he's sold by uh, by by Forest uh, to because I, I don't know how how much uh, uh, his contract has got uh, in terms of uh, yeah 
how many years uh, it has yeah. uh, on his on his deal. But um, I think if if Forrest wants to sell him, uh, it, it should be a fair a fair cut uh, of these uh, two point five million million euros. Uh, I I think it's not accurate accurate at all. Mm. Yeah, wow, interesting. Okay, Julian, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for, for speaking to us. I really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, thank you. No worries. I, that, that, was, uh, that was enjoyable. <laughs>